quit the Boy Scouts after three weeks, realizing I couldn't plug my blow dryer into a tree. That's why I give James Dina a lot of credit. I paddled over 500 miles on the Connecticut River. The trip took place in 1985, beginning here in South Windsor, heading up the river. I actually got to Beecher's Falls, which is the Canadian border. Why the trip? I've been interested in Native Americans for many years. So much so, James wanted to know what it was like to live like them. So he started planning and building. First, he made his own Stone Age tools, then used those tools to make the canoe. It took a year and a half to prepare for a voyage that would last five weeks. Everything is very labor intensive. So you really get to appreciate what uh, primitive peoples went through to produce a canoe and all the associated gear. The trip entailed uh, paddling up the river, making your way on a daily basis and getting back, and also living as you went, foraging for food, uh, making your way, sheltering yourself at night. What was it like out there, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for over a month? Uh, it was equal portions of, of pain and ecstasy, <laughs> equal doses. Uh, it was very satisfying, uh, very rewarding. It's been 20 years since the trip. The canoe still works, and people still seek James out to talk about the experience. I still get calls to demo the canoe, and uh, apparently I hit, a, I hit a true chord. And, you know, people like the oh. self-reliant idea. And if you'd like to read more about James Dina's trip, he's written a book about the experience called Voyage of the Ants.